थैंक यू डेप्यूटी चेरमेन सर मैंने भी गुजराती आवड़े छे पर मैं मैं पहले चेर ने जानावियो नथी अटले मु इंग्लिश में बोलूं सर आई आई राइज टू स्पीक ऑन द डिमांड फॉर ग्रांट्स अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ रेलवे सर अंडर द एबल लीडरशिप ऑफ आवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर देयर हैज बीन द रिकॉर्ड एलोकेशन ऑफ 137 Uh, crore rupees for the railway sir so there are a lot of new initiatives been taken by the ministry the railways to develop new products and efficient logistics services for small farmers and small medium enterprises integration of rail and networks to provide seamless solutions for movement of parcels so aajkal uh, online shopping ka zamana hai so Uh, railways will play a very important role in these logistics uh, pradhan mantri gati shakti cargo terminals and multi modal logistic facilities to facilitate transportation of cargo and there will be 100 such terminals in the next 3 years multi modal connectivity between mass urban transport and railway stations sir under the kavach atmanirbhar bharat 2000 km railway network will be brought under kavach for safety and augmentation in 2223 so another very important uh, step taken by the railways is the introduction of vande bharat 400 new generation trains for better efficiency and passenger riding comfort so for the first time these trains will be made of aluminium instead of steel so uh, it will increase the efficiency and they'll be made safer 102 such trains are already in the pipeline so the finance minister has also proposed one station one product to help local businesses and supply supply chain sir uh, there's been a huge push in uh, railway electrification and so there have been various uh, investment uh, physical targets set construction of new lines gauge conversion doubling of lines track renewals electrification rolling stock of uh, locomotive coaches and wagons sir so uh, a very important point especially for me is the gauge conversion i come from uh, dungapur in rajasthan and we have just completed our gauge conversion between amdabad and udaipur and dungapur comes on the way and so um, i have some uh, issues which i uh, pointed out to the rail minister one is the level crossing at balwara patak uh, number 151 so it's the main road that goes from dungapur to amdabad and thousands of people go to amdabad to work from dungapur but there's a level crossing there whereas underpass have been made in all along in all the villages that come on the way so i would request the minister to make an rob and uh, he is very kindly agreed um the other sorry ji to pacha please address the chair please please dungapur ji please address the chair jammano ban gaye jaise dungapur ji please address the chair yes please so uh, the other point is that the uh, ratlam baswara dungapur rail line so uh, the state government over the years Uh, we have had two governments and uh, they have not been able to uh, donate their share or sort of contribute their share to the rail line so it's very important that now there is a change in policy and the center should take up the uh, total construction of the rail uh, uh, line between uh, uh, ratlam baswara and dungapur sir the state can facilitate in land acquisition but the center has to pay the compensation this is a very important point and i hope the railway minister will uh, consider this and 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 change the policy so that we can uh, have a railway line otherwise no government will ever be able to afford the compensation so uh, the other very important point take uh, issue taken up by railways is the look act and uh, look and act northeast policy sir it's a very important time uh, uh, proposal in today's times sir there have also been increase in rail connectivity uh, to nepal 
There's been rail connectivity to Bangladesh, uh, new lines and doubling. That's a very important step. All gauge conversion work in Northeast region has been completed, sir. So this is a very important thing in today's times. Railways will play a very important port, uh, part in logistics. And uh, since a lot of these uh, lines will go to our border areas, and to facilitate the movement of heavy equipment of the army, uh, railways will play a very important port, part. So uh, the minister should consider making special rakes and uh, coaches and special uh, uh, railway equipment to transport, say, tanks and other heavy equipment. So what one train can uh, transport to the border areas, uh, it will take many trucks, hundreds of trucks, to transport the same equipment. So in future, looking at the world situation today, we don't know where we are going. So I feel the railways will play a very, very important for part in future in transporting our heavy equipment for the, our armed forces. And uh, we have uh, two very dangerous neighbors. We have our borders from the deserts of Rajasthan to the highest mountains regions in the world where our army is posted. So uh, it's a very crucial part that the railways will uh, be playing, sir. So the other, another important point is about tourism, sir. So the passenger convenience safety, the railways are also introducing aesthetically designed Vista Dome uh, coaches on the tourist route, sir. And so this is another important steam and steam engine, steam tourism should also come into play. So the private train operators, there have been some bids, but uh, not very successful, I feel. So the other issue is that the railway is also taking on land monetization and RLD has been involved in monetization of identi uh, unified railway assets of 111 railway land parcels, 84 railway colonies, Four hill railway Darjeeling, uh, four hill railways in Darjeeling, mm -hmm. Kalka, Shamla, Matharan, Nilgiri, Kanal, and uh, so I have ten minutes, sir. No, eight minutes. So, ten minutes, sir. No, eight minutes. Okay. Sir, so, the national railway plan is also another important step, sir. Uh, railways are restoring uh, the uh, their full capacity to pre-COVID level. So, Indian Railways plays a crucial role in one of the seven engines of Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah, Prime One Minister's moment, Gati yeah. Shakti uh, initiative. So uh, the other big thing is the new bullet trains will be introduced and high-speed railway corridors, upgradation of railway stations. One minute, sir, please. Sir, please. Hmm. As it was the maiden speech of Sri Ramba, yeah, I think probably it's one of my last speeches, so please uh, uh, be kind enough for that. So. Today, Indian Railways is the fourth largest rail network in the world and second largest in Asia, sir. And so, finally, I would like to say that Gadi bula rahi hai, siti baja rahi hai. Gadi bula rahi hai, siti baja rahi hai. Challa hi zindagi hai, chalti hi ja rahi hai. Gadi bula rahi hai, aur siti baja rahi hai. Thank you. Aur sir, aap ganti baja rahe hain. Thank you, thank you.